here we go. Hey guys, Robert here, and I've got with me another lesson in Pro Teachers New, the single um, student lessons, though, as I have Raymond with me. What's up? And today we're going to be going over one of my favorite Frank Miller books. And this has a one of his best female-led female creations, Martha Washington, who's not a prostitute, very strong-willed, um, does even and while she does have a love interest at one point, it doesn't center around her needing a man in her life. And yeah, throughout all this, this ends up kneeling, you know, feeling a very close to current events more than ever. And also, you have Dave, Dave Gibbons of Watchmen fame on the artwork, so you know you're going to get something amazing out of all of this. I mean, Raymond, uh, what is your history with Frank Miller? Just Batman? Just Batman. That's it. Not, not even Daredevil or 300? Not even Daredevil 300, and I, I had never even read his comics. The only Frank Miller anything was the animated two-parter. Oh, of Returns? Of Returns, yeah. That's... And Year One, and Year One. I don't even... Did I watch Year One? I don't remember. Well, that's the one that focuses more on Gordon as he's in Gotham. Uh, I may have watched Year One. I don't remember. Well, okay, okay. That was so, many moons ago. And wait, were you there for the Frank Miller Robocop video? No. You were not. You were not. All right then. Well, let's get started because we this is quite a long one. I got my I did I have the first edition. Anything here with this cover is the second edition. Well, let's get started. Now let me get started. Basically this whole thing takes place in an alternate history. All right, um, as uh, as we get, um, well, first of all, there's a little bit from Frank Miller right there. First discussion he had with Dave Gibbons was at the San Diego Zoo. Um, he always loved his country um, with his indomitable spirit, and you were indomitable from the days, you know, he's saying this to Martha herself, black, female, and impoverished, but nothing ever stopped her. Yeah. Today, you are the most heroic creation I've ever had to the honor to write, which says a lot. Um, so yeah, it opened up with Give Me Liberty is the first book. As, uh, we get a bit of Dave Gibbons, um, you know, commentary and we then open up 1996 is when she's born. Of course, it's then like my husband, John, he's out in the hall, got my own life. i be right in there. And in other words, no one cares. Mm. As we then have, um, uh, um, and uh, the president is elected, and as far as uh, Martha admits, he's always been president. And uh, we find about Cabrini Green still exists. The you know, have you ever hear of Cabrini Green? Uh, no. It was a bunch of living areas, very cheap housing area, all and all that. And yeah, her um, dad died during the riots. Okay. Um. Again, you see the president got reelected again. And uh, but if you notice though, look how it is here, the traditional, you know, Secret Service. Yeah. But then look. Armored cars and all that. Yeah, he went full Judge Dredd. Yep. Um she couldn't sleep much at night. Um but yeah, basically that is Cabrini Green, this whole living area. Huh. And a giant um and this was real actually. Really? Where was it? Where did it take place? Uh, Chicago. Uh, well, originally New York. Um, uh, oh, let me just double check. No, Chicago. It was the Chicago Housing Authority's pro um, public housing project. Uh, okay. When did this? When did it take place? Uh, like oh. the actual thing? Oh, it was in um, '95. Oh, okay. That explains why I wouldn't know about it because back then it was just. Batman the Animated Series and Power Rangers for me. Right from '95 and um, eventually. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, they existed long before him, but they started being torn down in 95. Oh, okay. Yeah. But here, basically, it's showing what if they had continued on and all that, and we just, again, look at how this is. This is how much things get more and more run down. We eventually see the, in the present, and um, wow, what an evil Santa he looks, right? Yeah. He's basically saying now, oh, everyone's going to have turkey this year. Yeah, turkey in these little meal packets. And look at how tight that house is, in that room, in their house is. Jeez, I thought my apartment was small. Yeah. 
basically the tell just thing, but he basically saying nobody's hungry, everybody's got a job, everybody's got a turkey this Christmas. I made sure of it. So you can tell he's one of those type of presidents who's basically saying like, hey, you're all getting by the bare minimum, but I'm doing what I promised. And then at one point then we see, again, years keep on passing by. There's no streets in the grade. No streets, so no no cars, so no streets. Just sidewalks and sidewalks. And the tube, if you're too old to walk, or you're crazy enough to take the tube, meaning, of course, the subway, I think. But yeah, he gets abducted, and she gets abducted, um, and basically, now you see, I see this guy, turns out, he, she was abducted because she looked like a boy. Which tells you what they had in mind, right? Hey. Yeah, I just said, like, should have uh, should have known and uh, fucking known, you fuck up, T-Balls, you fucking idiot. Uh, it's like, but and look, and, and look, Butch, man, she looked like a boy, man. The girl runs out, and this guy clearly, like, never saw Thunderballs again after that. Because look what he has. Yep. She eventually um, goes and does, um, um, oh, it turns out the guy is President Rexall, and he appealed the 22nd Amendment. So basically, like, like presidential quiz is be- is boring, but not very hard. Basically, you pick Rexall for everything. And in the time when she gets it wrong, she hacks it. She knows how to do this? Yep, she's a natural. Uh that's not exactly for, fair, is it, Washington? No, sir. Twelve years old and you sneak into command mode? Damn. Done a year and a half of computer studies before I learned that trick. Bet you don't even know which president crossed the Delaware, do you, Washington? Rexall? Because that's all she's known. But yeah, we had introduced to the PAX, which is their peace force. And yeah, this guy basically, he lives outside of the green. But he is, um, he volunteers of his own choice. You know, share sandwiches with him and all that. But then one by when she comes in, she finds he's been killed by the big guy. And she, well, to get back, kills him. Or stri- no, strikes him. And she, he chases him with her with his dying you know, breath. And unfortunately, that leaves her so traumatized, she is, well, like that for quite a while. Yeah, I don't blame her, do you? Not really. And that's uh, unfortunate. It takes her to the insane asylum. But then she realizes, oh, I'm out of the green. She found a way out. Whatever they feed me, I'll get. I'll get out. Uh, she basically, that's what she keeps on thinking. Now he's reelected again. Now look, he's in a tank. Jesus Christ. It gets worse and worse. Exactly. But if you notice, the funny thing though is there's still stability in the country. It's a hellhole, but it's still stable. But, in, and now, Ben Gigi, you know, she sneaks taking magazines and all that. <laughs> Did real Frank stuff still. But, turns out, they have these little psychic kids. Raggedy okay. Ann. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, it, this has turned into Akira. <laughs> a little. But then, but then, and I love these little new stuff they have going on. Um, they, um, it was aimed at Libya, but the laser cannon struck the oil-rich desert of Saudi Arabia. In the greatest environmental disaster of the century, the desert is ablaze. The sky is black over the Middle East, and our closest ally may now be America's deadliest enemy. Perfect. Wall Street's panicking. The Apaches. Robert, what? Everything just froze. Uh oh. Hold on. Couldn't hear you for like a solid thirty seconds. Ah, oh, crap! Sorry. Uh, sorry. You couldn't hear me at all. Where'd you lose me at? Uh, before this picture. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we left off here. Yeah, I would just simply say, well, I just then moved. O- I just moved over to here, as um, and that was really weird. As we find out, if you notice here, stuff like, you know, a laser cannon struck Saudi Arabia by mistake and ended up igniting their entire oil fields. 
And because of the economic um, issues, all those people, um, um, economic tightening is the rub on those who can't vote. And yesterday they made it 200,000 pages that have been kicked out of the U.S. mental institutions. So, yeah, she's been kicked out. And everyone's all freaking out. But they're starting to take some of them or put them down. They, they start to put them down. She actually fights back. Um, you know, runs off, grabs a bottle, and kills a guy. Takes his car and his cards. Um, uses her computer ability to get a lot more money out. And runs off. Huh. This escalated fast, didn't it? Yeah, it did, yes. Oh, now, yeah. This, and obviously this is play on Time Magazine. Turns out the Saudi Arabia firebomb reduced the entire White House, incapacitating President Rexall and taking out everyone except for the Secretary of Agriculture. In other words, it's the whole idea of the chain of command working. He's the, he basically holds the highest position because he was out with a cold. Huh. Don't they have like, a designated survivor, though, that they always, like, keep out away from everyone? Eh, not intentional, actually. In fact, um, he was actually, uh, and it was very clear he butted ahead with Rexall and um, was displeased with his militant environmentalism. Okay, so are we, is he going to be, like, another Rexall, or is he just going to do better? Oh, oh, he's trying to undo a lot of the issues. Okay. But unfortunately, then, it ends up destabilizing things even more. Like, he tries to make a deal with the Apaches and all that. He's trying to get things... Basically, in other words, it's if a liberal got into power trying to undo everything a extreme conservative had done. And if you're... A, yeah. That's pretty much how they play it up as. Oh, just a sec. Sorry about that. But yeah, I mean, and again, I just love it because this looks like something right out of time, doesn't it? It does. Um, yeah, he had a temperature of 102 degrees fever, rose from a bed and reached for the ringing phone and found himself holding the highest office in the land. A liberal Democrat only momentarily boosted into the cabinet position by the death two weeks earlier of Secretary Placebo. <laughs> so in other words, he wasn't even meant to have... Um, that position. So basically, a whole bunch of circumstances that led to him being in the top position now. But again, he tried to do what he can. Now, of course, eventually, um, uh, Martha joins up with Pax. Again, that's pretty much their version of the Peace Force. And we're sure to end up leaving in, and uh, yeah, they go into a war zone, basically. Huh. And eventually she's told to um, take this um, mask to the front line and get them these. But why as they send out, um, they release the gas and she puts the mask on and it's, uh, it's like oh. mustard. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like that freaking gas from freaking, uh, what's, what's that movie? The Rock. Yeah. With Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. But, and that kind of traumatizes her. But the other thing, though, is it actually taints and, ble and bleaches her hair blonde. This won't kill me. I won't die here. This won't kill me. So basically, you could definitely tell us she's a survivor. Uh, clearly. And that becomes her big thing. And yeah, she's actually given a chance, you know. Um, oh, she but I caught some special sauce in the last Big Mac attack. <laughs> Suddenly, they're treating me great. I didn't get hurt too bad. But until the burns heal a little more, I get to stay out of the fighting. <laughs> It basically is like she's using a primitive laptop. Um. Hmm. Reminds me of the uh, reminds me of the things that uh, they used to give uh, kids in high school that who couldn't write. Oh, I remember having a ton of those type of things where my handwriting was so sloppy. Yeah. Luckily, my my handwriting wasn't that bad, so I never. You know what I mean about her hair going blonde? Oh yeah. And it's permanent. Oh, Got it. She looks know, like Simon Phoenix. <laughs> well, why did it? Why did it kill me? It's it's right through me. Really, Earth, mercy kill. Uh, but then once you remember the guy who gave her the mask. Yeah. Shoots her. 
Better confirm and why? He doesn't sound like her. Is there a specific reason why? Um, not really. I think it was just the fact that I think he's a bit racist. Okay. Um, and but then eventually, though, again, she's a survivor, so she stabs him, takes out all the others, and then passes out. Unfortunately, while she took all the others out, he's alive. Would you look at this piece of shit prosthetic they gave me? Damned antique. Don't worry, though. My family's got a state of the art lung on its way. I'll be good as new. My family's got a lot of money, a lot of power. Nobody's going to believe some street n n word yep. out of yeah, a nut house that I'm anything but I'm a war hero. But let's both be war heroes, Washington, and don't give me any shit. I don't give him any shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ben bigger behemoth. You know, they're making bigger food. <laughs> Look, now that's a hot dog. And then we have some more advertising for packs. You know, it's typical Frank, you know, with his um using the media. Yeah. Um but yeah, we did get another summary of everything. Oh, the Surgeon General. Crime is not a disease. Disease is a crime. Kind of reminds you a little bit of um, Judge Death in a way, except it's life. I was going to say it reminds me of Dr. Mengele. That too. But yeah, basically, brings, you know, just gives a summary of everything. Now remember, Rexall is not dead. He's been in a coma. But yeah, look at that. He just wakes up and finds out, like, oh, like he's now the president. Everyone had been sure that he would shortly be fired. It was no real secret that Rexall, oh, they say militant, um, environmentalism. He's sworn in. His first order is to withdraw all Peace Force's troops from the poison no man land in every corner of the earth. Any more than a decade of costly wars and paying the way for America's readmittance to the United Nation. But there are 150,000 PAX troops oops, oops, are not left idle for long. June 1st, President Nixon orders a full-scale invasion of Brazil's Amazon rainforest. PAX troops defend what little remains of the forest from ruthless industrial Fast food corporations. Think about that a second. I'm letting it sink in. Um, June 21st, if Nissan succeeds and success, fully um, negotiates the landmark sold and soars in into plowshares treaty. Soviet and U.S. laser cannons are aimed at each other's own territories. June 30th, Nissan's first crisis. A band of Apache Indians seized the oil land, a Landorf oil refinery in the Mexican territory. Nissan's solution shocks some and thrills many. My friends, it's time we set things right. The genocide of Native Americans must stop. The federal government has purchased the Lundafor refinery and offers it, offers it to the Apache people as a gesture of goodwill and hopes that they may prosper. March 31st. President Nissan receives the Nobel Peace Prize. Should Erwin Rexall ever rise from his high uh, his bed at Walter Reed, he will be confronted with America that scarcely remembers the nation he ruled like a king. So basically, now that guy has been giving her all uh, dangerous missions while he's off. Um, oh yeah, Moretti's the name. While he's off, you know, just chilling. And Moretti's yeah. the fast food chains. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> this, feels, this feels like a bit of Judge Dread esque with how you know outlandish things have gotten. I was gonna say that this has turned to Austin Powers. <laughs> but yeah, they take it out. Um, they and they take it out, and again, she is a, like I said, a survivor. In the fourth attempt to assassinate President Nissan on this week by the Aryan Thrust. Um, the militant gay racist group. Militant gay racist group. group. Sworn revenge for the accidental laser cannon incineration of its Appalachian Mountain stronghold. An accident applauded by the Surgeon General. This country is blighted, poisoned, cancerous. Its mountains are separating sores. Its people are mutating bacteria. Laser search is exactly what America needs. Rick Scandal rocks the Vatican after this. <laughs> and this was in the 80s, dude. Good 
God, it's it's like all the worst parts of the freaking. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me let me take it back. Ninety, nineteen ninety. It's like it's like all the worst parts of like recent history, just all like. But he, but he predicted, but he predicted a lot of this. I said no fraternization between officers. Do we understand each other, gentlemen? Oh. The but um but, and then she's still talking with the guy um uh, like. And uh, he's trying to remind her who's the top dog. News 12 data raid reveals a laser cannon misfire was caused by an experimental command system. Utilizing psychic schizophrenics literally wired into soft computer software. Damn! What the shit? And it's implied that in part of what led to the misfire was because of... um. Martha talking with that one child. Hmm. Oh, geez. A bunch of the cows are rigged. <laughs> oh, that's all kinds of fucked up. But soon they're told they're moving out. The war is over. They make it home. Um, and everything. Then when she tells to, um, the president about Cabrini Green, he feels like this is all hor I mean, horrible. I will stand for this. And I promise you that, you promise you that, Sergeant. And yeah, it basically, it's all being, um, everyone's being released. Oh, I love this. He says, I, ha I, I have, uh, there's no way I have to leave home. Not ever again. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking in space. Yep, and, oh, geez, they're Holy trying to. Holy shit. Yep. They're trying to take back a one of the laser cannons. And look at this. Nazi symbolism. But there's still, like, gay, it's racist, it's, Nazis. It's, it's still the same gay, race, <laughs> yes. racist. Yes! <laughs> Miller, what the like, fuck, dude? What, what the fuck? But at the same time, again, this is just, this was meant to be social satire. Nothing more. <laughs> I was about to say, man. It's like, no, no wonder people hate him. <laughs> I love this, though. You know you, you can't fire that thing. Not in here. Bullets are bound to puncture a hole, blowing everything out. Kill yourself, shoot, and kill yourself shooting that thing. Um, and she ends up taking all the guys out with a sword. And that guy was a robot. Damn. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? She's freaking badass. Oh, they're about ready to fire the cannon, but things start to go. They start shooting, and oh. Everything I'm starts to that sword though. I mean, to cut through a body that much, I mean she'd have to be fucking strong. That's true, although I think it's comic exaggerations. Uh, I I would hope so. Like n no one can do that. Not even a not even a, a buffed up man could cut that cleanly with a s with a saber. Yeah, but yeah, basically he finds it's that same girl that that looked that smiled at her. Yeah, and basically they help her. You know, they, get, they get out of there just in time before the whole place blows. And she ends up going in for the crash. My, uh, uh, Sergeant Washington doesn't have much of a chance, girl. She's just 16 years old. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. She, she's 16? Yeah. I fucking thought she was already in her goddamn 20s or 30s. No. Uh, let's go back, actually, dude, to the very... I'm just going back. Uh, uh, never mind, I won't scare, I go all the way that far back. I'll look in the book. Hold on. She, remember, dude, she was born in, um... What was it? Um, she was born in... 1995! Okay. Yeah, so she's only 16. Okay, now my suspension of belief, disbelief just <laughs> jumped right out the fucking window. <laughs> I know, an, an unusual choice for such a dangerous mission. My choice, Captain, and a good one. She destroyed the cannon. It'll be sad to lose her. We served together, you know, in the Amazon action. Sir, the engine. We got in, We got a split seam and take it down by some of the Apaches. Impact, she's down. Um, but she makes it out there, and she's out of the shuttle on her feet. She's running, got and got her buck ma ma minister with her. She has a chance. Oh, uh, as yeah, the Apaches um, abduct her. 
Uh, again, just a whole bunch of insanity. But she realizes, like, Moretti, you bastard. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they find her, and then it turns out there's been a lot more dangerous stuff going on with that oil refinery. What consider would be a crowning achievement, um, but this is the legacy of President Nissan has bequeathed the Apache people. Air so despoiled that a single day's exposure brings a hacking cough to the heart- hardiest. Skin turned gray and disease, painted red and sad pride every day. Uh. And which it makes sense when you think like, uh, what? Well, why didn't they just dis- after they were gifted the refinery? Why didn't they just fucking? They still need the money. Okay, sell it off. Go buy some other land somewhere else. Start a casino. <laughs> I think this was before those casinos have really took off with them. But yeah, but of course, um, he's starting to get wasted. <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm, it's late and I'm tired. Tired. The word hardly begins to describe the bone-deep, soul-deep fatigue that leaves me like a dead man at the end of everything. You feel bad for him. He's doing his best. He is legitimately a good man. It's just that his good intentions have, un, how should I say, unforeseen consequences. Yeah, and the funny thing of all of those, we find out later, he's actually the last thing keeping the country together, no matter how much he fucks it up. But of course, like, you never had it so bad. You only had one enemy, just one. And it turns out they're still constantly giving him drinks. Like, I send packs to abolish an Afrid once and for all, and all they see is the war and the dead. You think I was Hitler the way they... <laughs> He's out. Get him to bed. But yeah, they're basically holding up uh, Martha and, and um, Raggedy, Ra- Raggy Ann as their... Um, you know, basically at first you think they're going to be hostages, but then it turns out they actually um, ask all kind of questions about their computers. It turns out they don't know how to work them. Wait, so they were given all this really cool, all this stuff, and just like were never taught how to use it? Nope. Okay, that was that that foresight was is complete shit. Yep. Oh, gee, but again, we see him further be like. Crotch is dead, but the Aryan thrust cannot be stopped. America's future is white and male and gay. White and male and gay. That's the, take replace one of the a few of those words that, but you added them being Nazis too, and the Nazis hated the gay. I think that's the irony that Miller is going. I for. know about the ass. Like, wait, that's the that's the irony he's going for. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, then of course, um, Colonel uh, Moretti, he's appointed director of the Domestic Peace Force operation. They grabbed me, the bastards. I was right there. And enter that his wife is calling for a divorce and then declaring herself a candidate in next year's election, running against her husband on the first sex ticket. No gratitude, not from anyone. Yeah, unfortunately, he's getting so drunk now, he's starting to get just... Uh, he's going to start being utilized. Uh, media was all over me when those N Nazi uh, F bastards take the cannon, but I get it right, and nobody can say I didn't. I get it right, and they don't give me the credit. Like he says in an emergency. It's always an emergency. And guess who has to fix it? And yeah, there's his vice president, and there's Moretti. Unfortunately, then he starts getting so drunk and everything, and all this comes up. He eventually actually kills his VP. What the? Okay. But again, no, it turns out they're intentionally pushing him over the edge. This is actually Moretti's plan. Oh. He's manipulating all this stuff to push him over the edge eventually. We'll get there. Because come on, look at him. He's not even surprised. Yeah, he's just, uh, hmm, there. Yep, exactly. Housekeeping, he's killed somebody. Clean it up and get him another bottle. See what I mean? What the shit? Oh, she's trying to get out, but they're too good. 
And, and oh, oh, look at that awesome image. That is really cool. That's supposed to represent she's the panther and the Apache guy is the eagle. A cat, of course. <laughs> but yeah, following the murder of Vice President by Apache terrorists. And, it, and he doesn't even remember what happened. That's how they keep on getting him wasted. All right, you're just a side order, Washington. This one sweet move of mine will ruin that stupid drunk of a president and make me the most powerful son of a bitch on this planet. Already? Just a side order, but a damn delicious one. I swore you'd die for it the second you shoved that bayonet between my ribs. And here Nissan was priming you to become a media event. She's perfect, he said. She's black, grew up poor, would have ended up a junkie over a ho or a hooker if it weren't for Pax. See, that tells you he actually had good plans for her. A good example. Yeah. Granted, it was still it was like it was to help himself out, but tells you everything, right? Yeah. Um, no, Washington says Raggedy Ann, just like she was Mor Moretti, you'll never make the history book. Won't even score a footnote. Oh, I see there's Rexall. He ends up at on the Mount Rushmore. Who's the other one, then? There's four. There's uh, I don't know. I don't know who the other one is. Oh, Quail! So basically, that's the alternate um, history. What if Quail got elected? Oh. And then Rexall took over after him. But yeah, we get more. Was as We get another summary of everything as everything's starting to fall apart. Um, remember, his wife's gone, so of course he's just going to have that lady there. Yeah. Um, executive or an order on this order is to be destroyed immediately after you commit this contest to memory. Bear in mind that any discussion of this order with anyone under any circumstances will force me to use executive pri privilege as defined in the 36th Amendment. Your summary court martial execution will be the price of disobedience. Damn! You instruct Peace Force Lieutenant Colonel Stanford Moretti to deploy laser fire from an orbiting satellite to eradicate the Apache Nation. Again, he got tricked into signing this. Ugh. Bye, Moretti. Oh, yeah, we're meeting up with them. They are the, what's known as the first sex uh, um, authority. But, yeah, basically, she, Raggedy Ann basically brings up how things are going to go bad, real bad. Um, and as they try, oh, they're trying to hurry out of there. Um, and the one guy and the one Apache follows them as just as they fire the cannon, and boom, takes out everything. Ooh, there goes the Apache Nation. Exactly. Surprise laser cannon strike incinerates the terrorist Apache Nation's nuclear threat to our national security. Wow, again, this was in the 90s. Sound familiar to many years later? Yeah. Um, and fortunately, he tells um, Martha's mother that, and brother that he, you know, she's dead. He's happy about it. Oh, melting ice caps. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, Manhattan Borough President Beluga vows that the shelling will continue. Oh, because they're basically now at a Manhattan-Brooklyn war. A nationwide, uh, oh yeah, Nissan's getting even worse and worse with his drunkenness. The latest unpopular move by the man, once known as the savior of the soul of America, who now faces a 98 disapproval rate, um, rate nationwide. Nationwide poll indicates the groundswell of supporters for the former president, Erwin Rexall, still comatose after two years. Damn. You can look, but you be better not touch. <laughs> Basically, they still try to say that that's Martha, and they're claiming she's dead. I'd consider it a personal favor if you keep Mars and Washington's name out of the media, Biff. She'd have wanted it that way. Fuck you! But eventually, it turns out they've been found by some of the Surgeon General's um, nurses. And she's getting a bit of a memory of what almost happened to her um, during the... And uh, I think during the battles and all that earlier. Okay. But yeah, she ends up um, yeah, being tossed in with the rest of the Surgeon General's people. The Apache guy is, um, he's somewhere else, uh, um, somewhere else. With the remains of the dead, apparently. Yeah, yeah. 
80% of the Apache people suffer from lung disease and skin cancer. The drugs were great, but the Apache Nation just wasn't a very good idea to begin with. Even so, I have yet to find out who was behind this and maybe and why maybe I'm being sentimental after all. Or maybe I'm just trying to avoid going back to Dad's utterly boring business. Oh, whoops. <laughs> They basically lose the cave. Turns out, yeah, he's a lot smarter than we think. Oh. Why, yeah. Why wasn't he teaching the Apaches how to work the computers then? Uh, I think because he it was his dad's orders and everything, and who knows? I have actually no clue, to be honest. That, that seems like kind of an oversight. Yeah. But throughout all this, we find out that, yeah, she's basically being drugged and everything. Um, and... But again, this is basically hit and the Surgeon General who kills that woman um, after a bit uh, because they basically um, she starts to bleed. That's why bad nurse, bad clone, burn body, clean floor, get new nurse, new clone to assist, important patient, get special attention. Yes, sir. Filthy patient, important patient. I know again, this guy is the hell? filthy and filthy both. New gloves. Yes, sir. Um, Sn Snowden, Margaret Snowden, her name, Margaret Snowden. We all must believe that her as her name, that uh, name. Then she will. Pretty day, she likes it. Again, this guy is just weird. Yeah. But he's trying to take over her name. Like she doesn't remember, and Martha doesn't even remember her own name. But she's they're tr they're basically trying to erase her. He makes it go all away. He makes it go away. In other words, he's trying. He's basically trying to use her for his own means. First, only used on robots. Before, collate military secrets from Washington memory. Prepare snow. In other words, he's trying to overthrow things. So, he is, he like a, is he like another antagonist in the? Not story? as much. Not as much here, but he will in the next part of the story. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he abducts the um, um, the a general, or he kills and, and that's and Moretti kills a general, and then leaves the orders for you know attacking the uh, Apache. The general's guilt revealed. Executive order genocide, putting the blame all on him, as everyone's ready to impeach him and everything. Um, and basically, he's holding a special cabinet meeting. To which once he meets up with them, and yeah, look at how wasted he is. So wasted he needs a wheelchair. What the shit? How is he still uh, breathing? Well, look at this. We need a war, my friends. The big kind. I can tell your faces. You aren't getting it. I mean, it's bold, sure, but it always works. A few million dead and nobody will even remember those damn Apaches. Jesus, what am I talking about? Sorry, just making a bad joke. And remember the deaths of um Caesar, I believe? Not what? Not Caesar. It was a different um, person in Rome, or Greek, or whatever. You know the hall where they stab them and stab a bunch of them. I think was it Caesar? Uh, no. What? It wasn't. Wasn't. Wasn't Caligula? Was it? But basically, you know the whole one stabs them and then everyone stabs them. Yeah, yeah. But Moretti with the first. Yeah, the entire cabinet kills him. To the president of the United States. To the president. Congratulations, Bill. We can still call you Bill, can't we? Of course you can. Your guy's not going to regret this. Yeah, that's the VP. But as soon as he leaves, locks the door. Boom! What the shit is he doing? He's taking over. Because he, basically through another legislation, he's now the next in line. Oh. Yeah, and basically people are remembering what he happened. It was Rexall two years. Remember, this is all happening in two years. So he's just so in two years he's just been killing his way to the fucking top. Yep. Oh, and turns out Rexall, he's still alive. He's a brain in a robot. Oh my god. The surgeon, the, fucking... the surgeon general did it. Oh my god, he's like the fucking brain from uh... Teen Titans. No, he, yeah, well, I was gonna say the other uh, uh, Doom Patrol. Uh, Doom Patrol, right, right, right. And that's his wife. Oh, and um, but yeah, uh, I keep forgetting the guy's name. We'll, we'll get his name eventually. Yeah, but they're sneaking inside of trying to get um, Martha out of there. Um, but yeah, of course, now you see uh, Chi is almost too far gone at first. 
but she's starting to break back through. It's one of those kids where you need constantly to do this to, you know, to break her. Because she's she's too she her will is just that strong. Exactly. So while it works at first, eventually she starts to fight her way through it. Okay. No more bad habits. <laughs> because this little robot, um, Kushkis. Like, I know, I know. Oh, 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 yeah. Look, blast those guys with a laser beam. Um, and yeah, now she's starting to fight. Basically, she's back to normal, fighting her way through. No Marsa here. No Marsa. All this way here for nothing. Marsa, Marsa Pio. Real, I know. Oh, there she is. But unfortunately, I know. Turns out she's helping because she thinks she's protecting them. The uh, and the the general. Oh, so okay. she hasn't fully broken out. Ooh, shoots him. Don't worry, he's not dead. But Raggedy Ann is finally able to help her snap out of it. Well, slowly snap out of it. But now Mart has taken over, declaring everything under martial law. Mar um, and then he gets word that Rex will never stop being president. Technically, he didn't. Ooh. <laughs> nope, I don't remember resigning, by golly. He's just a goddamn brain. Clone him new body. In return, Rex will surrender territory. Separate government. Ruled by Surgeon General. You may counter offer. Have one hour. And talk now. Now the God's country is called. Wow. But turn, and things are just getting worse now. I mean, the people who own the satellite, they are now the first sex confederacy. Sir, it's an emer it's emergency. Texas is seceded from the Union. Call themselves the Lone Star Republic. Looks like Neeson was doing a better job holding it together than anybody thought. Colonel, Manhattan's just declared itself an independent dictatorship. You know, just, things just keep getting worse and worse. And then he finds out Washington is still alive, and that's all he's obsessed on now. And, oh, the Surgeon General is firing a bunch of warheads. And, yeah, she takes it. Um, now she's finally getting back to normal. As we get into, oh, this poor woman. This is how far I'm willing to go. Anybody tries to get me away from my desk or cut me off, and I'm blowing my own brains out. I hate it when things don't make sense. And right now, they don't make sense. Uh, things, and th and th things were weird, but things made sense. The day I get fired, my husband leaves me, and the president dies, and some twit lieutenant colonel takes over the country, and the gun America's having a civil war. Just doesn't make sense. Feel bad for her, don't you? Yeah, her, 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 the freaking producers are like begging her, please don't kill yourself. Yeah, even shoots her. Um, um, yeah, she and she was she just got fired that day. Oh fuck! Did you say I just get fired? And um, I, oh, they say Rexall was the the man who gave America its balls back. But yeah, everything's just getting worse, and we find out. Yeah, the first um. Nissan's, um, turn out that's Nissan's um, ex-wife leading the first sex confederacy. Basically, to give a summary about everything going on, um, Manhattan Borough's President Boga declared victory over Brooklyn, annexing it and forming the East Coast Capitalist Dictatorship. <laughs> oh Again, everything is just going yeah. to hell. Oh, yeah, it's falling apart. Oh, and there's Martha as a panther, making her way back. Um, looks, it turns out, thanks to the Raggedy Ann, they're starting to take, and they're, they're trying to take back, oh, I know, they have taken back over. It's okay, the little girl's a ventriloquist. Um, but yeah, they turn out, yeah, they're all being controlled by Raggedy Ann. And again, they're trying, you know, Moretti's trying to get everything under control, but it's not working, and these guys don't want anything to do with him. Especially once he starts, um... And sir, I must insist, I finally got Rhode Island on the line. Security, I want this man shot! <laughs> this Jeez. is your final warning, mister. Divert those missiles or I won't leave a brick of your fortress standing. I'm waiting your response. And Snowden, very late. Important mission. No excuse for being late. None given. Basically, she's going to try and get the, um, Rexall out of there. Oh, they shoot him. He's a robot! What the fuck? Oh, no wonder he was all robotic like. Yeah. Um, uh, Ma'am, you won't be hurt. I'm afraid all this is necessary. Mr. President, please bear with me. Many lives are at stake. Like, my name is Washington. Rag in the missiles. 
And basically, um, sir, I'm reading a blow up in one of the nukes to and premature detonation. What did you do? Oh, they all went up at once, you know, pre ahead of time. Um, again, just all this craziness is going on. Um, now, unfortunately, though, she starts to lose a little bit of control of one of them. So, oh, she calls him Tomahawk. Like, Tomahawk? Crazy as sounds. I think she's doing something to the, oh, yeah, they're trying to explain, Yo. Oh, She's trying to explain to the Surgeon General, and <laughs> again, just a little bit of humor, like, help get her off, and, and get and get her off of me. Not kid, Reggie Ann, Marcia said. <laughs> but yeah, we're just having all, everything is just continuing to go crazy. Turns out he's still, uh, he's still alive. Damage, exposure, risk of contamination. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, you're over the line already. The obsession with Sergeant Wa and Sergeant Washington, everybody knows about it. I'm in charge here. I know what I'm doing. You're no president, kid. And just between the two of us, you'll never make general. Oh, oh boy, like, are you ar are you sure, sir? Are you arguing with me? Again, they're now trying dropping bombs all over the place. And the Surgeon General, um, yeah, barely is able to make it on board as they get out of there. The President's brain is missing. <laughs> Man, he, he, I give him, he's one tough son of a bitch, isn't he? He is. Oh, boom. Look, very bad. <laughs> Nation divided. Oh, hold on, going back. Um, God's country, the coalition government formed by the Surgeon General and leaders of the new Calvinist Initiative. Pledge to lay waste to impure and create a smoke-free, jug-free in paradise. Wonderland, the world's largest um, entertainment complex. It used to be the nation's playground. But funny animal war and warbirds are on the warpath, demanding cultural autonomy and an end to the enslavement of artificial intelligence. Um, rumors of mass murder and subjugation of humans remain unconfirmed. Real America, fat boy burger troops surround and surround multi-million acre cattle fields. Breeding, slaughtering, and selling the beef-hungry client. Mexican territory. Still technically the United States property. This overpopulated land openly trains with real America and is a fat, fat boy's chief source of inexpensive labor. Um, the Lone Star Republic. Texas. Florida. Just two years ago, the Sunshine State contained the most stable and military-equipped planned communities in the country. Now its food supply and communication lines have been cut, and its annexation by Cuba seems inevitable. Uh, the, the, new, the New England Federation, uh, militarily weak, this is the most pacifistic of the new governments and the most likely to seek un reunification with the U.S. The East, uh, the East Coast Capital Dictatorship. The first sex um, confederacy. Former First Lady Amanda Neeson declared that everything wrong in the world has been caused by men. See what I mean by this sounding familiar? It's all gone to hell in a handbag. Just, it's just, it. it if I see though, know, you're just like, how much longer are we away from something like this? I well, it's it's every it's it's every bad thing that we have now just ramped up to eleven. But again. That's what in 1990. <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest, scariest thing? <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, um, uh, ever since the four, and haven't seen the forest since the war. Thought I'd never see it again. The reforesters are doing a great job. It's going to be as big as it ever was. And everybody said Neeson was a bad president. You gotta give him props. That's why he was complaining earlier. He actually had a good thing going on to protect the forest and regrow it. It said everyone just focus on the war part of it. Mm -hmm. He was right about the forest. Um, oh, yeah, Moretti, Lieutenant Colonel Moretti, the war hero, the traitor. He has to kill the president to stay in power, and, he can, and, he'll, and he'll do anything he can to kill me. That's why I brought us here. Uh, basically, yeah, the forest is protected by an executive order. Moretti won't be able to use bombs or a laser cannon the way he did on your tribe. He was just trying to get at me. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, eventually they make it through, and it's starting to lead into um, 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 yeah, the grand, you know, the big, the big final push as Moretti leading troops in there. So he can't, since he can't. Uh 
fucking uh, black fire anything. He says he can't nuke it from orbit yet. He yeah, has he has them. Himself. Yeah, but Martha they will take a bunch of them out with I and mean, with some help, of course. But yeah, eventually, yeah, they have. Um, you're hung up on that on that snatch, already. It's throwing your judgment off. Hey, are you challenging my authority? No, sir. For the record, I am not questioning your authority. We will comply with whatever order you choose to give us. Yeah, guy. The guy. The guy is basically just you know speaking his mind, but you know. Oh boy! And then eventually, she starts taking all of them out. Uh, they can, and um, already catches up with the first lady, the, for, the first play in the end, kills her. But fortunately, that little robot is actually very tough. Um, she comes in, blows up a bunch of it, um, a bunch of them, and then comes charging in, and like a panther going after a hunter, she gets him good. Finally, and they finally, um, he finally takes him down. And detained without bail, facing charges of treason, including the brutal murder of the First Lady and the attempted assassination of President Rexall on the eve of a special election. Rexall is shown leading in, in every poll nationwide. And look, he's still in the robot suit! Oh my god. Right! The Surgeon General wasn't able to make him a new body. That's true. <laughs> then she, um, and Marissa meets up with him and basically tells him how... They, um, about it. She had an old friend of his, a good friend. He got framed for murder, ended up facing a death penalty. They were going to use an antique electric chair on him, not a fine scar like what you're facing. I visited him in his cell. He asked me for my belt, and I gave it to him. Like I said, I was just a kid. Didn't know why he wanted it until the next morning. I guess the waiting was the worst of it for him. Don't go. I don't want to be alone when I do it. Yes, sir. He's brave about it till he kicks the chair and the belt doesn't break his neck. He chokes and gurgles and twitches and his eyes bulge and his tongue pokes out and it takes 10 minutes for him to stop. I listen to his dead and death rattle. Pretty soon now, I'll call the guard. I'm just going to enjoy that for a bit. <laughs> Can you blame her? After everything he put her through. After I everything know, he put I the doubt. country through. In a lot of ways, this is what he really deserved. Let's be honest. Compared to this, the firing squad would have been too good for him. Yeah. But yeah, then we get Happy Birth um, Birthday, Martha Washington, which was a series of one shots. Ah, jeez, give me a moment. Let's do it again. It, it seems to have a very limited amount that I can show. Okay. Nope, gotta do it again. Even though, but funny thing is, I checked it earlier and it was perfectly fine when I did it, but now it's saying, you know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to pick this up on a part two and we can go over all the side stories? Oh, well, actually, there's funny stuff. There's a bunch of other minis. Let's just go through these side stories, then we can pick up for a part two. Okay. Whatever works for you. Yeah, trust me on that one, because the rest of one, it gets long going forward. But yeah, happy birthday, Martha. We get a couple of collateral damage. She, uh, we then see the man. man you know, we've been bombing Manhattan for 33 days. They say they are being getting and they're being careful to avoid landmarks and civilians. That they had to destroy Grand Central Station because it was cent Command Central. Just like they say they had to take out the Brooklyn Bridge. They say all kinds of things. My favorite is the one about how no Peace Force officer would ever be ordered to assassinate anyone. Uh, yeah, right. Crashes to this one guy. Uh, my name's Marsa. I'm a soldier just like you. Just stay still till I've got your stomach bandaged. Makes it way out of there. Um, Christ, Washington, where have you been? What do you mean? Um, they soon get word um, about um, Central. This is um, Rugard, Code Baker, Allen Pixel, Target Eliminated. Do you copy? We copy, and copy, Sergeant. That was fast work. Wasn't me. A little too fast. We understand you have to stay. Uh, to say what they tell you to, Sergeant. You understand, we can't leave this channel. Oh, they think she's been captured. Oh. Because she was did it too fast, but then, boom, they blow up the one place. They say war is hell. But not all there is, and, and but that's not all there is to it. War is really dumb. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this, the black and white artwork here. Oh, hell, I can appreciate the hell out of that. Lo and logistics. It's them going to deal with a bunch of the cows as they make it through um, the nether um, um, perimeter to try and get some food to eat. <laughs> with our job to enforce it. But uh, the 94th Am Amendment of the United States Constitution strictly forbids the breeding, slaughtering, or sale of red meat. It's our job to enforce it. We usually work at night, but not this time. The ranchers turn in early. So this place it closes up, closes while still light out. The 94th of the amendment, uh, uh, yeah, repeats it. It's our job to enforce it. But then there's logistics to consider. An army trap fills on its belly. And ours have been empty for three days. There's got to be, be and these have got to be the best burgers there ever was anywhere. <laughs> three days oh. of good food? Yeah, anything would be the best thing any ever. Yep. State of the art. She's dealing now with a member from the first sex confederacy. They both have these armors. Um, computer, target, disruptor, and fire. Target locked and fixed, Elaine. Awaiting order to fire. Alert. Power built up. Hazards. Awaiting order to fire. You have three seconds. They start shooting. Yes, Martha. Art is the struck sequence. Engage. Awaiting fire to power. Alert. You have one second. Alert. Power built up. Failure. Yeah. Art is struck. No, you hunk of junk. Basically, these whole things just keep falling apart. They get out of there in time, point their guns, their guns fall apart, and their other guns are out of ammo. They crack up. <laughs> we decided to wait and see who shows up, which one of us ends up being a prisoner, and which one gets to go back to our unit. We share rations. We swap stories. We don't talk politics. That is a cute little story, isn't it? That, that is. I, I mean, it, it's it ends ambiguously. I'm well, not. Ambiguously. Well, we know we know Marcia gets saved. Yeah, we we know she gets saved. So that's. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, but they both politics. crack up, but they were both having the same rotten luck. <laughs> I don't know why they just didn't just you know go their separate ways. <laughs> like, okay, we're done. No, I think because they don't know whose troops going to catch up there first. I know, but the other girl could have still like you know taken off. True, but um, in subordination, um, well, if this is what, yep, she's been they're being sent in to find a big guy, someone, um, um, yeah, trying to make their all the way through there. Um, on dictator beluga, cape flying first, he's dead on first, uh, it's, and he's dead, that he's alive, that he's dead again. The latest rumor is that he really did die last year, but his wife, Arania, took over before New York could surrender. That her son assassinated her and took over himself. So they kept it in the family. There's still a dictator beluga. And they made a deal with the skinheads to take Philadelphia and split whatever's left. From the looks of things, there won't be much much to split. But eventually she makes her way. She's basically there to find someone who's basically a super soldier. And this is meant to be a dedication to Jack Kirby, actually, as you could see. Yeah. Captain Kurtz, he was a—he was—he's the kind of man they tell you don't exist. People aren't supposed to be good at more than one thing. He's not just a soldier; he's an inventor, a genesis, a geneticist, a, phys a physicist, and a genius at everything he's ever done. Basically, yeah, he created super soldier serum. They wanted some of his blood. Took a lot of guts, and he's been trying to protect the Liberty Bell. Um, uh, he's able to take some of it. Like your mom, she's still alive. Yes, sir. You ought to write to her, or it'll mean a lot to her. So command short and serum, and the only place to left to get more is from my blood. Well, I still got a fair amount of that. Go ahead. Don't feel bad about it. Feel like some kind of vampire. Now, don't go thinking that way, Martha. You're a great girl, gal. You've got a lot of courage and got a good head on your shoulders, and you've got a job to do. Just stay true. The, uh, true. the time may come when you got to stop taking orders, and you'll know when it does. And basically, um, he explains that why he came there to get the Liberty Bell. And of course, she doesn't know what the Liberty Bell is, but she doesn't want to say anything. Doesn't want to look dumb. But yeah, he basically says like he's going to go in there and um, like no arguments. You won't be doing any any favors getting killed. You see how upset she is. She just met this guy on right, and she feels like he's the greatest soldier ever. Like go and run, keep your head down, and write your mom. Come on, Ratsies, it's clobbering time. He dies, and she realized, even after he's gone, we're supposed to suck this much more out of him. That's the order. He, she's in support and just smashes the blood. 
Rest in peace, soldier. You were the best. Trying to keep his memory alive so it's not just, let's make an army of him. Yeah. So, yeah, so far, what do you think? There, again, there's more to go, but we'll do one I, to it next time. Okay, so, so how, uh, first question, how far into the future are we now after the events of the main story? Uh, let's see, they usually mention um, 2014, so not so, that much long after. So the last two time years we... after that. Yeah. The, uh, let me double... year, yeah, the end of the last of the main story ended. Yeah, 2012. 2012, so two years later. Okay, so she's 18 now, 19? Um. Oh, and she was sixteen. Nineteen, yes, nineteen. So she's yeah, eighteen, nineteen years old now. Yeah. Um. Uh, honestly, she she's fucking awesome. Uh, uh, too good to be true. Honestly, how? F- but you see why Frank Miller loves her, but you see why I say though she's one of his best female characters. Yeah. No shit. She's not even been sexualized at all. He- I, yeah, dis- despite all the copious amounts of uh, nudity in this story, yeah. Yeah, she has not been sexualized at all, and she really won't be at all. Uh, yeah, it's this is all very impressive. I'm. Yeah, and we got we got I still. Didn't, yeah, I didn't sorry. think I'd like her that much, but honestly, I do. And you and the fact, but then also seeing how much like see what I meant though. You go from having a very conservative president. To a very liberal president trying to fix things up, and then you have this not those you know spoiled brat who feels like he's God's gift to the uh, America's get uh, to America, making things worse, and then it blows up in his face. Yep, and then he hangs himself in a very painful way of die. Yep, but yeah, and that's just the first mini. We got Martha goes to war. Um, what's the other one? Um. Um. Oh, Mar- uh, Martha saves the world, and then Martha Washington dies, which is a one shot. Okay. But yeah, we got a lot to go through. I mean, just by on. Oh, let me just get to where we're at currently in the tray, and I'll show you just how many we still have left. This, uh, yeah, this is how much we have left. We just got through this much. Wow. So we're just like a little under a half. Holy shit. The 242 pages, and it's technically 600 pages, just um, over 500 scans. Wow. Yeah. Now, of course, granted, we are technically close to the halfway point. Okay. Um, but, what, but what did you about to say Gibbons' artwork? It's been, it's been phenomenal, actually. I, very impressive. Yeah. He's, and he's got, an, he's got the anatomy down to a T. Well, this is, again, it's the same guy who did um, Gibbon. I, I mean, Watchmen. But, I, but again, no. But what did you think about was again how the politics played out in all this? I at first I would say abhorrent until I you know the realization of a parody kicks in. Yeah, once you saw the big the, the big boy. Yeah, as soon as I saw the big boy, I just couldn't stop thinking of like freaking. Dr. Evil from Austin Powers just using the, the freaking big boy as an escape rocket. Exactly. But the, like fact that you, the fact you find out the fast food chains have a military? <laughs> that, I'm, I'm fully expecting Amazon to have its own fucking military and turn, into, um, turn to the Umbrella Corporation at some point. <laughs> but again, as, though, the fact that you realize just what, how much of a crap country Rexall had turned it into... But at the same time, though, you weren't having people blowing each other up until what happened with um, the, that laser strike miscalculation. Yeah, and you know, the and the fucked up thing is, like, this story doesn't have actually a legitimately good ending either. No, it doesn't, because the war's still going! The war's still going, and we're back to square one with Rexel. Back yep. well, the although, although, funny enough, that's not going to last long, but we won't know it yet. Okay. It's going to be a case. They kind of sweep him under the rug between books. Okay. Well, let's. But then that makes things worse, actually. Why not? <laughs> but again, I felt bad for Neeson, but then again, he just went off the deep end. Now, do you really think he was that, and that was always that bad, or do you think it really was a case where he just kept getting so drunk that it was bound to happen? Um. I think it's a combination of him being drunk and also being weak. 
he didn't have to pick up the fucking bottle ever. That's true. That is very true. But he thought he needed it. Basically, so in other words, again, a good man wasn't ready to put the position. He had good ideas at first. But let's be honest, giving the Apache Nation that oil refining, yeah, it, they, everyone applauded him at first. He got the Nobel Peace Prize for it. And then, womp, womp. And I'm just like, wow, doesn't that sound like modern day politics? And then the funny thing is, this is all happening without social media. Imagine how it would have been like if social media was in the picture. Oh, God. <laughs> And is it just me, or did is it just me, or do you get a little bit of feeling of some stuff with you know the fact that oh people hated Rexall, but then because Nissan pushed it so far over the edge within two years, everyone was wanting Rexall back, and you're like, am I getting deja vu all of a sudden this past few years? Uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying that certain president. I am not saying a certain president was as bad as Rexall. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying how much you have it be. One thing no, no, happened. No, no, no. You're talking about the the sequence of events, not the quality of the president. I get that exactly. But, no, it's it's. <laughs> is it, kind of funny? <laughs> it is kind of funny, actually. And again, it's it's within 1990. I keep having to repeat that. 30, over 30 years ago. I don't, I, I, you know what? That's, I had the same freaking, I had the same freaking problem when I rewatched the V for Vendetta movie. And I just, and I, this is during the pandemic. And I'm like, why does this sound so fucking familiar? I know, but again, over 30 years ago. And how much did they predict? Especially when I saw that, um, the map. Once I saw that map, I'm like, oh God. I mean, the first sex confederacy and all that. And then you just have stuff like, again, the, everyone would be white and uh, male and gay. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> at first you think, no way would in hell would any of this happen. Like, again, the first sex confederate, all problems are men's problem. I think you were a uh, generation of feminism, one generation off, Frankie boy. Or yeah, wait, really, you are one way of feminism off. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm still waiting for the I'm still waiting for you know what the next wave of feminism to hit, and it's just going to be like worse. Yeah, but again, yeah. just the fact they call they yeah, the first sex like everyone is but it uh, borders remain closed at present to male U.S. citizens. Oh, Nissan's order bans on pornography, marriage, sexist remarks, and negative role models in entertainment. Oh my god, it is fourth wave feminism! Yeah, this is fourth wave feminism right here. And ironically, this week, December 26, 2011. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Look at it! This week, December 26, 2011. Uh, I can't see that. Where's that? It's at the bottom, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's, oh, it's being blocked by the mute start cam and settings. Sorry! Uh, uh, I'm seeing it on my screen. No, I can I can barely see it. I'm, oh, there it is. All right, it went away. All right. This yeah, there it is. December 26, 20, this week, December 26, 2011. Yeah, it's just like a nation. To, hey, at least I'm safe. I'm still in the U.S. Oh, uh, I'm in Wonderland. Oh, no. You have to deal with the killer robots. I know. I got to deal with Skynet. What the fuck? Sure packs assault Wonderland, a hostage crisis of unheard proportions, likely scenario. Implementation of the no holds barred amendment could result in deaths of millions. Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, it was nice while it lasted. But you know, the fact that these, I, I'm just like Wonderland. First, you think, oh, what is it? Um, everyone in Disney, and then you're right, always oh, making fun of the Disneyland animatronics. I mean, thankfully, I'm like two hours north of LA, so it's, I'm not, and I got a mountain, you know, separating me in LA, so I'm like, eh, maybe I'll survive. Yeah. Oh, a bit more with Texas. Only Texans hate your fat boy porn movie than continuing border skirmishes with Mexican territory prevents a full-fledged ally alliance. Texas commands a 300,000 um, 300, man army and possesses FERC strike nuclear capability on every city in the Western Hemisphere. The next American president will have to weigh carefully Texan displeasure with the U.S. Constitution as written. Again, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Again, it's just like, 
Oh my god, are we just really getting that close and close to this? I know. It's like I keep hearing about states seceding, and I'm like, if that it, happens, is division really the thing you guys want to do? I know. I, mean, we, no. I know we can't stand one another, but I know. But to be <laughs> honest, really to be this? honest, to be honest, the only thing I don't see really happening is the um, Wonderland. That's the only thing that's kind of lost it, but. I gotta say, when I saw God Country, I immediately sent my thought back to um, Dan Slott's Jesus Land. Oh, God. Remember when he said that? Go back to Jesus Land. Oh, no, I don't pay attention to anything that man says. Yeah. Oh, well, like I said, so next, this is just part one of our overview. I seen, obviously, this was just, again, 600 pages. This is going to take a while. Part two coming soon. Yep. Stay and, tuned. And this might be this might be a two part. This might very well be a three parter. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, th but yeah. Thank you so much, Raymond. Thank everyone else for joining in, and I'll we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Farewell. Farewell. Hold on. And